We have all heard about VR Chat. I'm not breaking any new ground here by saying VR Chat is a very fun place to hang out. But it is safe to say there are some questionable characters on there. Not just questionable, but sometimes downright criminal or, in this case, I don't even know how you describe this guy. Delusional? Yeah, I'd describe this guy as delusional. But to give some context, because I'm, I'm not trying to paint this guy as a monster. I remember this right before recording this, uh, that I have footage of this happening. But basically, there was this guy in this lobby, and I don't know his real name or anything. I just know the name that he goes by on VR chat. But he has a god complex. You can very blatantly see his god complex in action, judging by this footage. No. I'm just- I'm- I just- I just get a lot of women and I'm smart. That's why, buddy, okay? Um, okay, you name off one woman! You, uh, no offense, in the, in the United States education system, 32 makes you very... Um... 32 is high, that's what my doctor said, and the doctor's gonna tell no, me that you, DJ Kara. You're a DJ, what do you know? Alright. It, 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 if I was the D, if I was the DJ Kara, you would not be talking to me because you would probably block me because the amount of facts that I would hit with you, we would not like. Not really. I don't block anyone because I'm not a coward. I'm in addition to short you, you probably would block her because she would have never blocked anyone in my life, actually. I'll be playing this game for eight years since 2002 and I've never blocked her because anyone. You know, this entire oh, crisis could have been averted her. if you just blocked us. So why are you stealing someone's identity? Why are you stealing someone's identity? Let's flip this on it's you now. You're stealing uh, someone's did, identity. Did he, did he just say that I'm stealing the non-fictional character's identity? <laughs> Those vows probably were, I love you as long as you have fucking food for me in your house. Well, they've never run into someone as important as me before. Have you played GTA 5? No, uh, I've never no, played it, but I know some of the characters. Of our generation, and it brings kids to commit crimes and make murders. Uh, yeah, no, he's, if you play GTA, your mind is corrupted. No, he's, he's, I was he's one not. of those people that signed the uh, permissions. Are you one of those people that considers yourself a single man? Hold on, hold on. He, he, hold on, hold on. He, he said he, he literally said he's 40 years old, and I want you to realize something. There are people who are older than me that play GTA 5 and don't think the way that he does. Basically, what was happening before this recording took place, because I didn't- I wasn't recording a video or anything, I was just goofing off doing my own thing. He was going around and telling people that were using soundboards that what they were doing was against the rules, when it's not. Like, I know VRChat's moderation isn't the best, but I I'm just saying, if it truly was against the rules, the VR chat devs would have done something about it by now. Can it be annoying? Absolutely. That's what the block or mute button are for. But I'm just telling you which one it is. It's the one in the Master Chief. It's this guy. It's the one in the Master Chief. Avatar. Rico here claims to be a mod. Like a moderator. I like the respectful and, and very, very calm and concise person I am. I asked him to prove it. Go ahead and ban me, coward! If you have the power to do it, prove it! Prove it or shut it! Ban it! If you have the power to ban someone, prove it! The fact that he didn't ban me even though I literally told him to. Go ahead and ban me, coward! Um, I would like to thank DJ Kara, because he handled it in a much more calm way than I ever could. Because, because as calm as I am, I cannot stand people like this. I can't stand people trying to make other people do what they want because they are uncomfortable. As long as it's not hurting anyone, I don't care what you do. Posing as a moderator is actually a bottom is actually a bannable offense. I want to say this to you. It's all fun in games till an actual moderator shows up and then you're impersonating one which makes it so much worse we we'll get you IB banned, but I'm not going to say anything. We didn't tell him this though. As, you, as this video keeps going on, you'll see more and more just how immature this man is. And I'm confident in calling him a man because we can see him in- we can see and hear him interacting with what is assumably his child at one point. So, we have this 40-year-old man trying to be Paragon of Virtue in VR chat. Not to mention he spouts a lot of incorrect nonsense such as 
He's been playing the VR chat since 2002, which couldn't be possible because the, the public beta was released in 2016, and the private alpha slash beta, I don't remember what it was called, was in 2014. Editing SLV here. It is 1 in the morning when I'm editing this. I got my information wrong here. The original beta was in January of 2014, and the early access was February 1st of 2017. Goodness me, I should be sleeping right now. And, and honestly, I want you guys to comment down below who you think is truly in the right or wrong. Like, I want to hear your guys' opinions on this. Like, I'm not just posting this just to say, HA 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 LOOK AT THIS IDIOT! Because... I, I don't really... I, I don't really want to be that person. Like, I'm calling this out because this is horrible behavior, especially from someone who is in their 40s. And the fact that I, an 18-year-old, can see that is really telling to this guy's maturity. But he says multiple times with confidence that he's 40, even as far as giving us his birthday. When were you born? I wish I had. I was born in 1984. <laughs> Which, for, for privacy reasons, and for me not wanting to dox this guy, I will not be sharing. And this is to all the people who play VR chat frequently. Don't try to force other people to bend to your will just because you are uncomfortable. That is the lesson that we should all learn from this, is that just because you feel like you have some sort of authority out of, over other people, doesn't mean you should boss people around. And this entire situation with Rico Simon 611E could have entirely been avoided if he just, I don't know, blocked or muted the people that were using soundboards. I want to do more discussion type videos because I really like watching those kind of videos and in general I've been making content on my YouTube channel that I would want to watch. I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays on Twitch and Saturdays here on YouTube. So, if you want to see more of me, that's where I'll be. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Wherever you are, I thank you for the continued support that you guys give me, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Later.